Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out a fan's game and letting them know why I think it might not be doing too hot. Now this game's an obstacle course which I usually don't do in this series because it's pretty obvious. Most obbies you jump on a block, uh, you jump on the next block, try not to die, right? And they're usually pretty low effort. This guy said he spent three months of non-stop working and over 150,000 robux on advertising. That's... That's a lot for an obby. Anyways, let's check it out. All right, stuck in 2D. So we're gonna have sort of a platformer aesthetic, I would assume. We have no emojis in the description. Uh, it's not a need, but it does help. And then in the store, uh, we, we, it's kind of all right. Double jump, that icon could be changed. Looks like we are using an icon pack, which is a bit outdone. And we have badges. So everything from the outside, other than having maybe some emojis in the description, looks pretty good. Let's check it out. 21,000 visits for 125, 150,000 Robux is kind of low. Badger awarded right when we got in. That is pretty nice. Loading screen seems pretty okay. Let's go ahead and click play. Oh, that's such a pet peeve. I hate when screens bounce like that. Like it feels so non-smooth. All right, jumping in. First things first, I hate the UI. Just personally, it's not cutting it for me. It feels super low effort or budgeted and not scaled correctly either. And also you have the icon pack from the game passes, but it doesn't look like you're using all of the icons from said pack. So that's kind of strange, but let's check it out. Uh, welcome. Yep, WASD to move, got it. All right, checkpoint, nice. Control the crouch, got it. Jump over the lavas. I can't jump when I'm crouched. No problem. Need more jump. <laughs> I thought you used a game pass to not progress anymore. We could crouch under it, no problem. All right, let's keep going. I think the idea is cool. So far, there's, there's no reason to actually play it though. It seems like you started something with a sick idea and then just didn't really fulfill the idea. The 2D aspect is pretty cool, I guess, but the background never really changes. You're always in this sort of prison type factory thing, which could work if you had different details in different spots. Interesting perspective change. For a 2D game, we don't often get these, but I don't know what this guy's doing. We don't have a, uh, yeah, I don't know what that guy was or what he's doing. Three months of developing, man. It's not bad. Oh my. Oh, these are other people. So there is players? Okay. All right, few things. Most of the people who play obbies are new to the Roblox platform and they are looking for like the super easy ones. Uh, and then this camera perspective thing might turn a lot of players off. And then the other people who play obbies are looking for super hard ones because they're just like, yo, I'm him. It'd be so cool if we could interact with some of this stuff. Go up here, press E, and that opens something up with an animation. Just something that makes it feel a bit more, uh, a bit more polished. Like there's more of a gameplay. Cause right now, can we jump on these? No. Right now it just feels very basic overall. The UI definitely needs a refresh. Looking at the outside and then getting into the game, I was expecting a bit higher quality, I would say. This is a moving platform and it's not moving. Do I gotta jump? Uh, all right, I have officially, oh, there it goes. Okay, we'll go to the back and then we gotta go to the front. I think the perspective is the main thing that's gonna throw this off. Also just obstacle courses in general. Don't do that well. What is this? Invite friends. Just popped up randomly. I hate when games do that. Let me play the game. All right, some jumps, cool. I do feel like you went for a higher quality obstacle course and then just didn't execute fully on your, uh, your original plan here. When I think of like higher quality courses, I think of devs like Packstabber or um, there's one other guy, he makes like toy themed ones. I forgot his name, but they're both very high quality obstacle courses. This one feels like the ideas were all there and you were ready, uh, but the executional skills were just not exactly there yet. I like the 2D aspect with the perspective changes, how you're not just running like to the left or the right the whole time, but I could also see why that would turn off a lot of the newer players. So it's kind of a win and a loss. We finally have a bit of a build style change, which is nice. Oh, oh, hide. There we go. We got it. We got to go back here. I don't hate it. Just overall, it doesn't feel like enough for this uh, current day and age on Roblox. I want to complete it just to see if there's like a reward zone at the end or something. I'm gonna go ahead and play through for a little bit. 
see if anything else changes, but right now the only thing I can say is it just needs some polish. The executional skills were a bit lacking. Total UI. This looks like a very old, old game. Also, most of Roblox players are kids. This is a darker aesthetic, so that may not click too well with the masses. But I'm going to play through and see if there's anything that's uh, just sticking out later on in the game. Alright guys, I haven't been playing for as long as I was going to. I was going to go all the way up. This ladder doesn't work. Oh, there it goes. That's such a weird... Um, there's like a block in front of it. <laughs> I think you put trusses in the front which makes sense, but you can climb pretty much anything in Roblox, so I don't think the trusses are actually needed, and if you did use a truss, push them back. Keep them invisible, but push them back so they're at least in line with the ladder. That will help uh, make things feel like they work, that's for sure. Look at numbers. Oh my gosh, what numbers? I don't see any. I hope it doesn't ask me about those numbers later, because I didn't see any. I also have $700. What can we do with money? This is a Game Pass shop. We have Skip Stage, Troll, Donate. We have Rewards, which is nice. Quests, completed all of those. Items. Okay, so we can actually buy gears. What does Prime do? Oh my, we're buying it. All right. I like that. Once again, definitely need some more polish. But um, let's see, Prime. Is it just to walk around with it? Awesome. Does the balloon, the balloon also does nothing. So this is another big issue here. Let's say your game was all about an obstacle course that you're getting money so you could buy gears to do better obstacles. They don't do anything. It's just for aesthetics and that, I think you're missing a huge gameplay loop that you could have. I also don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Pick the correct door. And then here's the number. Look at the last four numbers. Now use all four numbers. Where are the numbers? Oh my. All right, we're in a door. Oh. Oh, all right. I'm guessing the numbers are here. The last four. Fading platform. Uh, okay. I still don't see any numbers. Oh, I fell into lava. All right. Little, uh, little something going on here. Let's not fall in. Uh, numbers though. Hello? It said pick the right door. I had no idea it was going to put me into another obstacle course. So I'm just so confused now. Falling boulders. Uh, okay. I'm just going to keep running. Where? <laughs> What numbers is it talking about, man? The vault is close. Was I supposed to look at numbers back there for the vault? Oh my, I'm confused, fellas. All right, I found the vault. I'm in the vault. We got some badges. Jump on me. Okay, jump on me. Got it. I could definitely see the perspective messing up a lot of the uh, newer Roblox players, aka the people who are really playing obstacle courses. Oh no. <laughs> Why did I ever go in the vault? <laughs> Where are the numbers? <laughs> All right, checkpoint. Now I could go here or I could go back here. Uh, this seems a lot more entertaining. Okay, it was a badge. See, that stuff is really cool. Just little side Easter eggs. I like that a lot. So you have another thing here. Is there something I could do or is it just a, de a decoration? If I was a normal player by this point in time, I would have just forgotten about looking for any sort of numbers. I'm assuming we get to the end and then it gives us numbers and then it teleports us back to that door or something where we have to put in the key code. I genuinely couldn't tell you, man. Or I completely missed them already, which is also a possibility. All right, I have found another vault door. Uh, so I'm guessing, yeah, I don't know. It just gave me some money. Oh, disappearing platforms, that's nice. But once again, these parts, they could just be something else to make the game feel a lot more high quality. Oh, oh, I hit the checkpoint still. All right, guys, so I just beat the entire game. It took, I don't know, 20 minutes, and we're here. We got greeted, I'm gonna keep going, but we got greeted by, hey, you already beat the game by the game passes. That's interesting, but let's go ahead, walk forward, and see if there's anything else. I don't think there is. It's just by game passes, bro. <laughs> so here, I would add an option to either restart the game with some sort of a boost, whether that's a gravity coil, a speed coil, a balloon that works, uh, just some sort of a boost. It's a little weird how we beat the game and now we're being offered all of the game passes. You were great at putting them throughout the obby where it wasn't overbearing, but it also advertised it to the player. At the end is definitely not the place to have them. We also don't have a restart, maybe this rebirth button. Reset character or rebirth at stage 100. So we're here, let's go ahead and rebirth. 
do we get anything? It doesn't look like it. I would definitely add a reward to this rebirth, and if there is one, I would let the player know what that is. Once again, if you offer them a way to go through this obstacle course faster or better or more fun, that would make it so much better. So long story short, spend a little bit more time or maybe some of that money that you used on advertising could have been used to perfect some stuff. Like the UI is definitely struggling. The build got better over time. I thought it was gonna be this brick structure the whole time, but it wasn't. And it actually changed to a few different environments, which was pretty cool. All of them, of course, could use a little bit more work and look a little bit more, I guess, unique or better but none of them were bad by any means. And then mainly, especially for replayability, offer the player something in return for that rebirth and advertise that rebirth at the end stage. I would completely remove the rebirth button and just make it a huge button you step on when you hit that end area. But guys, I do think that will wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.